the joy that surrounds us. So caught up inside ourselves. If I said Shelly, what does that mean? I keep getting Shelly, and it's driving me crazy. Is anybody connected to, hold on Bill, one second. Is anybody in the room connected to like a Shelly? You're, thank you, thank you, okay. You're, it's Michelle, but they call her Shelly or Shell? Thank you, I love you, okay. Because your people are yelling at me. And I got this before, it didn't make sense, I don't know if it was the, the guys over here, and did you hear me say it earlier? Yeah, but I did not say it. Yeah, I don't even, and now they're insisting to not drop this. Thank you. Okay, who has the four kids? Because I get a four to prove this, okay, and child feeling. Do you understand? It is like playing trades with the dead, and they know me, and they know what I'm going to go led to the, the, the trail, the crumb trail to get me, you know? Um, nobody's very proud of you. Who's the teacher? Who's in education? I feel alive. You used to be a teacher? Okay. And who's this coming through? Did you really? Oh my God. That's a me too. That's I can say it too. Get me over here. Um, are you retired though? Okay. Because they're giving me the school bell, but they're giving me not anymore. Okay. So know that your parents, whoever's passed for you, is proud of you as well. I need to bring it to the teacher too that I'm proud, I've seen your goals, I've seen your challenges, I've seen your accomplishments, and that we're really, really proud of you. Who were you not able to really embrace before they passed? One more time, I feel like a heartbreak. Two people, is one like a sister, one like a brother, one to the side? I feel like a male or female to the side, but blood related, huh? Yes, be blood related to the side. You know that he's stepping forward saying, I know what you go through that you didn't get to hug me one more time. You can't wait to cross over and get that hug from me, okay? You know, you know what they want to say to you guys? They exist. You're not alone. They love you. They're having a really good time. You should see their, their house up there, you know, and the room service is amazing. Okay, so uh, everybody's got a pool, you know what I mean? And they're able to be down here, and they're so proud of you. They see what you worry about. They see what you're trying to get to and, and create in your life. And they're going, stop worrying. We're right here. I see it coming. They're giving you hope by giving you those signs of rainbows. Did you just get a rainbow the other day or a rainbow? A rainbow is supposed to mean something to you. So don't forget that, okay? Did he pass in his 50s? Almost 50? 48. Know that I feel him like a young man to me, okay? I ain't giving you my age, but that's young. And 48 is very young. And it's his way of saying, you know, I'm like 50, Teresa. I'm like a guy. I'm not older. I'm not her big brother. It's, it's his way of saying, like, a, a man's life cut too short. And that it's not fair. This shouldn't happen to a good guy like him. But you have to understand that he's at peace. That was his time. He didn't want to be a burden to anybody. So he actually got something happen to him that would be real fast, that you guys wouldn't have him 24-hour care, night and day. Do you understand this? OK? All right. Do you have one of those? It um, could be a nebulizer, too. But it's like I feel like a machine. And I feel like I'm, I'm here and like it's, I feel like I'm breathing something. So is that what you have, a nebulizer? All right, know that that's really important. Don't ever lose that uh, because it can come out of nowhere. And all of a sudden you start coughing and you feel tightness in your chest and, it, and then you're good. I love all the things. Who's the teacher? Uh, are you connected uh, through marriage through this? Okay, all right. No, no. Uh, How are no. you connected to her? 
at all. Okay. Well, just know that your people wanted to honor you at the same time they said to honor her. Take it. <laughs> okay. What's the Hershey bars mean to you? Who was, is anybody diabetic? No, I mean that passed. I know. Because I can have the Hershey bars or bring up the Hershey bars. And it's just my thing of sugar. If they're able to eat sweets now. Your mother-in-law. Okay. This is how you'll know her. That's how she's stepping forward among everybody because you got the bus, the bus coming through. You know that? And I'll, should I say school bus? No. <laughs> um, it's her way of saying, like, even though I was pretty good, I cheated, cheated every now and then, um, you know, I wasn't the perfect one, she says. Yeah, you can sit down. It's her way of saying that she can have what she wants now. But I really feel like it wasn't bad. Uncle, my, my uncle, I wanted to see if, if he, he... Did he die real young? No. Um, oh, I'm getting too soon again. Oh, Eric. Would I be, wanted to she, wanted, she wanted to connect with someone and really if I bad. Richard, does that mean anything? That's her brother. I mean, that's her husband. Richard? Okay. That means, yes, that's for you. Yes, that means, thank you for asking. I'm here for her. Okay? That tags it right to you because that's your husband, Richard. And it, it is a past. He's here. Richard's here. Like She's trying to connect it with here. Here Eric. on the earth. Yeah. yeah. He's like he's like Teresa. Now you know, make it clear. I'm not saying I'm not saying he's with me. He's down there. I want to pick on him. I want to like <laughs> Eric's Yeah, does Eric know? He wants to kind of like play around with him. Eric. Yeah. He yeah, for some might not young. believe in this. He's gonna do. Richard. Eric. Yeah, Richard doesn't. Because yeah. you're gonna come home with all these stories, you're gonna go, yeah, right. You know, and this is it. Well, they said your name. I believe you. Eric, so Eric is saying hi to Richard. I believe you. He's playing with him. She was he his cover. Very playful energy. He had I don't know what the depression is he wants to bring up. Uh, something about don't even think I'm sad. Don't even think I'm upset. I want there. you to know I went over He's with a smile. Do you understand this? I didn't have to go, oh my God, and take therapy because I died. I, I'm okay. I was more concerned about you, he says, than himself. Okay? And he just literally put his arms around you and gave you the biggest hug. He says, Teresa, you've got to tell her, remind her how much fun we had as kids. You know that old saying he said, Teresa, that you could have fun in a cardboard box? We actually had fun in a cardboard box. We did. <laughs> We'd slide down the steps on it. We'd roll around. You understand that? I was his governess and he committed suicide. Oh, he committed suicide. That's the depression. That's the don't think that I was upset. Know that I went with a smile when I got into the grace of God. Don't think that he didn't have a lot to deal with when he got out of his body, though. I've got to be honest with you, but I understand what he's telling you. Don't want to confuse the fact that the, when people are depressed and they commit suicide, they do not go to a good, it's not hell, but they do go to their crap. They do have to deal with it, but that he did get to a smile, he did get to the grace of God, he's okay. Thank you. Okay? And now I know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh, no, thank him, because I wouldn't be able to say anything. Who did you want to connect? And I love you. Do you have peace on? Is that the sign of peace? No. See, I saw literally the sign of peace. Honey, with the microphone, the red shirt, if you ever see a peace sign, I don't care if it's on the back, sticker on the back of a car, a girl walks by in the mall and she's got a, a peace sign spray painted like, like that on her t-shirt. I want to tell you, that is his way of reminding you in that moment, I am at peace. Okay? And, and he loves you very much. Okay? And he knows you were kind of like his mother, like, oh, like this. You know, you were a little bit like this. Oh my God, what's she doing to me again? But you know what? You were always worrying about him. You were always trying to protect him. You were always trying to help him get into the, the right lane. You know what I mean? Going off the road a little bit. Does that make any sense? So stop beating yourself up. Use it to be a better person. If you look back and go, you know, that I wasn't really great there, but I'm not that person anymore. Be, keep, keep, be gentle with yourself. 
Know that you have good in you and use that. When you do, you're only happy. When you don't use it, you're miserable. Okay? There's so much to be thankful.